السلام عليكم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we'll continue our course in history taking and today presentation on hematemesis uh, vomiting of blood my name is Ahmed Al Hadidi I am emergency medicine consultant so uh, there is a lot of causes for uh, hematemesis let's start with general causes like hemophilia or hereditary hemorrhagic telangiectasia uh, many drugs like anticoagulants or thrombolytics, uh, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, aspirin, uh, steroids, uh, biphosphonates, potassium, and iron. Local causes which are uh, much more important, like gastric or duodenal ulcer, gastroesophageal varices, esophagitis, gastritis, and duodenitis, malaryous uh, tear, portal hypertensive gastropathy, malignancy like adenocarcinoma, Michels diverticulum, bitz jigger syndrome, and angiodysplasia and aortoenteric fistula. Uh, to start the station for history taking, as we said before, set, dialogue, and closure. Let's start with the set or introduction, the same uh, uh, steps, greeting and introduce yourself. Hi, I am Dr. Hadidi, SHO of Internal Medicine Clinic. Then confirm a patient's details. So. You are Mr. Hamdi, uh, and you are 45 years old. Build a good rapport. Uh, please have a seat. May I sit beside you? Then uh, explain note taking if you are writing notes. If you don't mind, I would like to take some notes for the purpose of interview, which will be strictly confidential. Then agree the agenda. I have received a letter from your GB stating that you have vomited of blood. Is it right? This is for the introduction, then go to dialogue. And in dialogue, we will start with the present history and the presenting complaint. Have you had thrown up? Can you describe what does it look like? What was the color of the vomit? Is it uh, coffee, uh, coffee ground, dark red or bright red? How much blood have you vomited? How many times and how long does it last for? Then did the blood appear with the initial vomits or after a period of prolonged vomiting, like in Mallory Weiss tear? Have you been vomiting cups of blood or only streaks or small clots? Then uh, for analysis of the presenting complaint, we'll use uh, Odbara onset. Uh, was it suddenly and was it effortless like in viruses? Duration, uh, when did you first vomit blood? Is this the first time for you? P for uh, progression, how many times have you vomited blood? Aggravating factors, do you know what might be causing it? And regressive factors like, do you, got, uh, do you get relief by antacids? Then associated symptoms, which are uh, uh, very important, like do you have pain on a swallowing or denophagia, like in cases of esophagitis? Do you have difficulty in swallowing, which is dysphagia, and there is many causes can cause dysphagia and uh, hematemesis? Have you had chest pain or tummy pain? Do you notice? Uh, did you notice weight loss, fatigue, or loss of desire to eat, like causes of malignancy? Do you feel lightheadedness, dizzy, or faint on standing upright? Uh, also, is there any sweating, weakness, or heart racing? All of these will signify uh, significant blood loss. Did you notice yellow color in your skin and your eye like in chronic liver disease causes? Can you tell me what is the color of your stool? Do you pass black or bloody stool? Uh, after present history, we'll go for the past history. Do you have any history of ulcer disease? Have you ever been admitted to hospital? Have you ever had any blood transfusion? Do you have any past history of heart, lung, liver, or kidney disease or malignancy? Is there a history of bowel surgery or bypass? Do you have history of camera scan like endoscopy or colonoscopy? Then uh, medications and allergy. Are you currently taking any medications? What medications you are taking? Any over-the-counter? Any herbal remedies? Are you currently taking non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, aspirin, clobidogrel, steroids or anticoagulants, uh, bisphosphonate, uh, potassium or iron supplements? Are you taking any medications for your stomach like proton bomb inhibitors? 
and of course ask about allergies do you have any sort of allergies then family history any similar conditions in your family uh, are there any illnesses or diseases that run in your family does anyone in your family have gland problems joint problems or cancer is there a family history of colitis or bowel malignancies is there any family history of bleeding disease like osler weber rindo syndrome social history ask about uh, uh, smoking do you smoke and how much and for how long do you smoke ask about alcohol intake do you drink alcohol how often do you have a drink how much do you drink per day or per week ask about recreational drugs do you use any recreational drugs and ask about a uh, history of travel like have you traveled abroad recently after present history we, uh, uh, go for uh, sorry after uh, history taking go for ideas concern and uh, expectations uh, what do you think might be causing this problem are you worried about this being anything in particular what do you think might be the best plan of action then uh, when we go to foreclosure uh, first to summarize the main point may i take a moment to summarize what you have told me so i can check that i have understood everything that's important to you uh, ask about any outstanding issues is there anything else we haven't discussed that you feel is important to create a list of problem like so from the history you gave me i think that you have a tear in your food pipe which happens when you uh, uh, due to repeated vomiting this is mallory wees tear plan the next few steps i will examine you first we may need to do some tests in the form of blood test and x-ray uh, also we might need to do camera scan for your stomach uh, which is desk we you need to be admitted in the hospital under observation and to complete all these investigations uh also, in closure, counsel on health promotion, uh, like alcohol. There is an advice I need to tell you about. Too much alcohol is not good for your health. And I'm going to arrange another meeting to help you to quit if you wish. Before the end, check the understanding. Is there anything unclear you need me to clarify? And at the end, thank the patient by name. Thank you, Mr. Hamdi. Uh, thank you. This was a presentation for hematemesis, and uh, these are our uh, other presentation in history taking. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel and like.